I'll be working out with you. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Sainsbury's. Um, this is one of the ones I got in the supermarket shop. Um, never tried it before. It's their IPA. There you go, that's what it looks like. And it's, um, it just says, um, good traditional IPA, voluminous, voluminous, good body and fruity hot. That's a review from someone from the co-op. Um, it says a smooth and rich amber ale with a rounded malty character and a wonderful long dry finish with soft fruit overtones. The perfect combination of hops from around the world, including Goldins, I've had that before, Bramling Cross, I've had, it's quite a common, um, English hop, Bobeck, I don't know, Cascade, yeah, I've had that, and Target, I'm not too sure about Target, so Bobeck and Target are new ones that are pretty new to me, I might have had them before in a beer, but I've just never realised, um, so this one comes in at, this one, I think it's 4.5%, or so, get the old BB bar fly out, God, I wonder if this, I don't even know if these guys are still going around, I'm going to dedicate this beer to Terry K, Beer Goggles Reviews, rest in peace. Um, he was the guy who actually got me into beer reviewing, and, um, and he was a really nice bloke. So, yeah, so I don't know how long it's been now. It's probably been a couple of years since he's gone. But anyway, we're still thinking of you, so let's give this a go. I don't think I've tried many um, sort of supermarket own brand stuff. Not recently, anyway. So there you go. That's the um, beer in a glass. Just looks like a, a decent sort of golden ale, or slightly darker than a golden ale. Um, so it's an IPA, an English IPA. Um, nice and, um, yeah, it looks very, very clean. There's no pops and bits and pieces in that so typical sort of supermarket style of beer um nice sort of foamy head not not too huge let's give it a nose hmm um not not huge huge um notes coming off of this one Mostly like a lemony sort of smell, uh, maybe a bit of sort of grapefruit skin. I think sort of zesty or, fr or sort of fleshy uh, smelling. Yeah, there's not, I'm not really getting much off of that. It smells decent, but I think that's sort of blowing my mind. You're getting the earthy notes, definitely. Those are definitely coming through. Um, almost like a, a bit of um, like a sweet hot as well, like a like a berry note. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. I'm holding it like that. <laughs> Cheers. No, that's not really my thing. Yeah. I'm getting like almost like a, a sour, almost like a diacetyl taste. When um, for those that probably don't know, it's um, when the beer tastes like it's on a bit of a turn, and it, and it sort of gives it almost like a a gone off butterscotch sort of taste. Let's give it another go. Yeah, no. Oh, that's not for me. Not at all. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, all I'm really getting on that is that sort of warm, sort of butterscotchy taste. Um, an earthy bitterness. But no sort of citrus notes or nothing like that. Very sort of, like, almost like... Um, I've said this before. I've said this <laughs> mentioned in Terry K. I did actually mention this to him once when you taste the beer and it tastes and it has this sort of diacetyl taste. It almost tastes like when you was a kid and you had the dandelion stalks and you used to 
rub them between your fingers. And you, and sometimes if you like forgot about it, and you might have eat, eat a sweet or something, and you can taste it on your tongue. It's almost like a like a, a sour, resiny, not like a hop, but like almost like a like just like a plant or something. It's just not not very nice. Um, yeah, I don't know whether that bottle's gone off. I don't think it is because how long is, oh, I've only had this about a month, so yeah. So mm, two out of ten is liquid. Um, but it's going straight down the sink. That's not for me. So there you go. Sainsbury's IPA. Mm, bloody do one. Cheers.